Hey, what's popping? What's popping, traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video, guys, we are going to be looking at yet another powerful trading method, guys. So, do smash on that like button for me, right? So, guys, here we do have GPP CAD there, as you guys can see. And as you guys can see, the tech profit has been hit on this trade that I took. Uh, this is the before screenshot, right? Before I took this GPP CAD. Uh, uh, trading setup so i'm going to be revealing to you uh why i took this trade so that you can also catch this kind of moves guys so this is the before screenshot and as you guys can see take profit has been hit just like that right so now i want you guys to somehow look at the time frames there right so i'm on my four hour time frame i took this trade on my what on my four hour time frame guys right so let us just remove this right and let's just mark where we took the trade we took the trade right there guys and let us just simply grab our tool right there there we go so guys we took the trade where we took the trade there right so this was basically a continuation pattern trade let us go over to our 15 minutes time frame this was a what this was a continuation pattern trade guys so basically what happened here you can clearly see that we do have what there right and then there right so it's like one of the things that actually happened right so i might as well just remove this right so now when we have ourselves this continuation pattern right so when we have ourselves this continuation pattern we first have we are fighting against a lot of things firstly we are fighting against fake out you know that is like one of the things that uh, are we we are uh, we are fighting against from right so here we can see that we did have ourselves a what a breakout right so but for me to be sure that we really really had a breakout i have to then use my what use my higher time frame which is what which is the four hour time frame right so it is so much wise for you that when you trade breakouts you use the four hour time frame to confirm those breakouts and for my entries i mainly use the four hour time frame six hour time frame eight hour time frame and the 12 hour time frame why because uh, manipul manipulation is escaped a lot there so on our four hour time frame you can also see that we did have also what a breakout right there but now as much as this is a continuation pattern, guys, I want you guys to look at this interesting thing, right? So, when we had ourselves a breakout, right, on our four-hour time frame, we also had ourselves a what? A bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern right there. Right? Isn't it that we want to know whether it is, it, it is now time for us to, to, to place that cell we want to know if price is now ready to move to the downward from this continuation pattern or from this flag pattern, right? So now, this bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern is your signal that is going to tell you that, okay, sharp, price is now ready to move to the downward. But I want you guys to just look at this. This simple way of trading is very, very powerful. We first had our, this very same bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern also gave us a breakout. How cool is that? Right, so we are hitting, uh, oh, we are hitting uh, two birds with one stone here, right? This four-hour bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern also gave us a what a breakout. This should tell you something, right? This should actually tell you something, and this basically happens a lot, and that is why we then did what, and that is why we then took our our trade, and then we then you know took a one is two three risk to reward ratio right uh, we, we are yet to get in deep guys we are yet to get in deep and price just did what it did there also this happens guys this happens a lot more often for instance you can also see what happened here you can also see what happened there right let me just take this and let me just put it right there so on our four hour time frame let us just go over to our 15 minutes time frame so on our 15 minutes time frame here is what we had a continuation pattern right i'm just proving to you guys this happens a lot more often we had ourselves a what a continuation a continuation pattern but now here's what we had on our four hour time frame look at what we had on our four hour time frame on our four hour time frame we had ourselves a breakout and a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern guys let's remove that kindly right we had ourselves a what a a a, a breakout and 
a a bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern. This bearish candle, it, 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 the part of that bearish candle closed below that bullish candle right there. So the very same bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern gave us a breakout. And remember why we use the 4-hour time frame. We use the 4-hour time frame because we want to escape what is called manipulation. We want to escape fake outs. Same as we did on this thread that we took right there, guys. Right? So, 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 so simple, right? So now, it does happen that when you enter here, when you enter on your continuation patterns, I'm sure that it has happened to you guys, price consolidate, price consolidate, price consolidate, and then price act like it's breaking out, all of a sudden, boom, it moves to the upward. The 4-hour time frame will will help you with that, right? So if you see a breakout on the 15 minutes time frame, just you know, wait a little bit longer. The 15 minutes time frame, uh, that is not a good time frame to confirm your entries. Wait for a breakout on the four hour time frame so that you cannot be manipulated, so that you cannot see this kind of moves. Price just moves to the upward. So when you are trading this kind of con uh, 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 this, uh, continuation patterns, guys, right? So it would actually be wise for you to then throw your trend line and then go over to your four-hour time frame. And then when price is giving you a breakout, just try and make sure that it is also giving you a what? A bearish engulfing candlestick pattern right there to signal your entry, guys. So you are going to be using your, your candlestick pattern for entry and also you are going to be using your breakout for your entry, guys. So simple as it is as it is remember to keep things simple to not complicate things make sure to keep your charts clean guys right so that's it for this video guys i hope you did find value if you did do smash on the like button for me see you on the next one goodbye